Hello all, Shoestring here. Last video I showed you how I had my solar set up where it would charge the batteries and then go in through an inverter and then into the house. I've had several people ask me about what happens for your electronic devices that could be sensitive. Because remember, this inverter is a modified sine wave. And modifying sine wave doesn't do really well for sensitive electronics equipment. And that's true. So, what we're going to do now, and we're going to walk into the house, and I'm going to show you where I actually have computers and how I take care of that situation, since this is only a modified sine wave. So, go inside, and I will show you how that works. I have a computer where I work, printer, standard stuff you would have in an office. Also, I have my internet connected here, as you can see, all connected right here, and then it goes over here to a pure sine wave inverter, right there, and a lithium battery, which I can easily charge up with my solar power. So all of this is done on a pure sine wave and small 100 amp hour lithium battery. On the other side of the office, I have another computer that we also use for editing and such things that we need for our channel. It also has a small 100 amp hour lithium battery and the new pure sine wave Jupiter 1000 watt inverter I am testing. So all the sensitive electronics in the house are actually run by pure sine wave, but independently of our main outside system because I don't have it connected to a pure sine wave. So there it is, a quick note, two computers in the back office. Also, yes, they have lights and other such small things that are also connected to the lithium batteries and the small inverters. So the printer, the computer, monitor, camera, microphone, all that good stuff, and my internet setup all comes out to about 130 watts when everything is on and running. That's 130 watts, which I figured out, of course, with the kilowatt, which I like to use to find out how many watts I need. And this is, in case I didn't mention it before, a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. I did a review on this some time ago, so feel free to go look at it if you want to. Anyway, 500 watt pure sine wave, and this battery is a is a fly power. Like I said, it's a hundred amp hour. I've had these for several years and they work pretty well. So that's how this setup works and what I'm actually using to run this computer. The other computer doesn't have nearly as much. So it's only approximately 110. Yeah, 110 watts. It's using, like I think I mentioned before, the new Harbor Freight Jupiter 1000 watt inverter. I just bought this. I did a box opening. I'm still testing it. So I'll get another video out on it once I'm through with the testing. It's also using a fly power 100 amp hour battery. Cheap batteries, I'll admit, for lithium. Probably one of the cheapest on the market, but they've all worked really, really well for me. And that's the setup. The uh, pure sine wave inverters and the lithium batteries connected to sensitive electronics equipment, so they will not be damaged by, by the modified sine wave I have connected to the rest of the house. And one of the good things here is that this 
fly power lithium battery has a cord that I can plug right in here to charge it. And what's neat about that is I can plug it into the wall right over there. Right there, plugged into the wall. This room is one of the rooms that is connected to my solar battery backup. So when the solar is actually running, I can charge my batteries from the solar that's outside in my battery room. Anyway, I find that kind of neat. So, same thing with the other battery at the other computer. It's also plugged into the wall. So when we're on solar backup, which I like to do a lot, you can see that it's charged so totally off the solar. Okay, so there it is. My last video, which I'll put a link down, showed you how we did the main power to the house. And this answers the question, what happens inside to the sensitive electronics, such as computers, printers, and other like items. So, last but not least, I want to point out that I plan on replacing this modified sine wave that goes into the house. But this is going to be substantially more expensive, the size and type I want, than the two little systems I've just showed you in the house that protects the computers and other sensitive electronics. So yes, I would like to have one connected to the entire system, but I have to be able to afford it first. I have inexpensive, cheap, pure sine waves in the house that I showed you, and cheap, inexpensive lithium batteries, maybe even the cheapest on the market. So that's the temporary fix that works really well, but still temporary till I can get one of the pure sine waves that I want, which like I said, is going to be a substantial cost. So if you like these videos, like, subscribe, hit the little bell button. Okay, shoestring out.